Islamic ring in Viking grave sheds new light on ancient ties. How it really worked. That merchant told me it would give me protection of his god. Cool, dude, you should wear it. Insane to think Charles Darwin and Steve Irwin both own the same tortoise. You're the best, Harriet. Love you, Darwin. Wait, really? They, they seriously own it? That's gotta, I love Steve Irwin. Context, basically back in the day, each movement in an animation was an entirely new picture of the character drawn in a different position, so every time a character moved their head, the animator had to redraw the entire body. Someone figured out if they separate the character's head from the body and cover up the gap with a collar, thus they only had to animate the head while reusing the same body image, cutting down on labor and cost. That's why scarves and collars were so common in old cartoons like Scooby-Doo and Yogi Bear. 60s animators who were tired of redrawing the entire character every time they, their head moved. Hey, uh, how's it going, guys? Me explaining to my little bro that names like Xerxes and Archimedes are just the Greeks' butchering pronunciation of old Persians. Oh, okay, yeah, awesome, yeah, whatever. When you get told that only half of the Soviet troops got rifles, but it was because the other half got SMGs. Oh, well, I would have preferred an SMG, personally. Will I ever be as good as Napoleon? Will I ever be good as Caesar? Will I ever be as good as Alexander? I'm the best! How the Spaniards name the Yucatan Peninsula. What do you call this place? I don't understand you. Yucatan? Okay. Teachers wheeling in a TV so the little kids could watch the Challenger space shuttle launch live. The Challenger explodes. Wasn't there a teacher on that one? I think so. <laughs> Ironic. Survive the franco prussian War. Survived World War I. Survived World War II. Saw the rise of two German Reich. Constant on one sing. Frick France. <laughs> I don't know what accent that was, but it works with this weird man and his mustache and hat. Never ask a woman her age. A man is salary. Imperial's brand. Why would we know since World War II that humans are 70% water. Oh, that's a... Uh... That's weird. <laughs> uh, moving on. Apparently, the Viet Congs are extremely afraid of the Ace of Spades as it represents death for them. We should put it on all their corpses to freak them out. Hey, Quang, apparently the Americans have started putting aces on spades pretty much everywhere they go. Must be an American tradition, dummies. The Vietnam War was the little definition of, I have no idea what I am doing here for the U.S. Army. I mean, pretty much, dude. They were just taken and thrown there. 40,000 people thought this was a good idea. It was not. <laughs> Let's crash two locomotives together, they said. It'll be a cool publicity stunt, they said. Said. We'll even have free admission to watch, they said. Oh, yeah, that was mm, beautiful. Adams is critically underrated. The only founding father to never own slaves out of principle, hiring people instead. Had a marriage where he treated his wife as an equal and friend. Prevented political parties from taking hold of the presidency during his time in office. Was the one who convinced the other founding fathers to vote for independence. Served on nearly every committee during the revolution, single-handedly running the army payment. Mm, okay, okay. Died on the 4th of July. It's time to go. Was I a good founding father? No, I'm told you we're the best, Franklin. Good job. Uh, Franklin? Yeah, it's gotta be Franklin, right? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Adam, sorry, I'm stupid. <laughs> People, men dressed and acting like men back in the day, men back in the day. <laughs> How about another four years of delays? When you are about to build a shopping mall, but you are in Rome. Hmm, yes. Well, that sucks for you. The church has never done anything good in history. The Pope blessing the Pokemon franchise in 2000. Take that, hypocrites! Shun Sue's The Aunt of One. Uh, make sure you have the high ground. Genius, thank you. Yeah, that's pretty much the whole book. Then it is illegal to expose the illegal things the government does. <laughs> Americans will never know. Five mass extinctions events, including the Permian that killed over 95% ocean animals. Horseshoe crabs. We're more closely related to ticks than crabs. No, seriously, that's a real fact. Look it up. Got this position in chess. Now, how do I save my king? You don't, my friend. He's done so. Damn it, I hate being on the front. I wish I could be in one of these forts where nothing bad can happen. Meanwhile, in Fort Devox, I'm so thirsty that I'm licking the moisture on the walls. Five. Oh, God. Tankies be like, Russia did nothing wrong and Poles hated only because of the U.S. propaganda. My brother in Christ, we hated Russia before USA even became a thing. Duh. John M. Browning in 1921 making a heavy machine gun that used by the U.S. Army for the next hundred years because no one came up with something better. Heavy machine gun. What everyone thinks Viking look like. Brr. How Vikings actually looked. Hello, friend. It takes a strong man to change his ways. Malcolm X, after visiting Mecca and realizing his entire worldview was just a twisted bastard by the nation of Islam. What have I done? German World War II marching songs versus British World War II marching songs. I miss my love and I will die for the fatherland. Your leaders have wheeled balls. Yes, sir. You know, I'm just calling it with all his anger issues. I bet Adolf did have some weird looking balls. Promise you won't cry. I promise. Out of thousands of Mesoamerican books and codexes, only 20 are known to have survived to the present day, meaning a surreal amount of information regarding these civilizations has been lost as a result of book burnings carried out by the Spanish. 
<laughs> I won't cry. Successfully measures the circumference of the Earth within 1% of air 2,200 years ago using a stick. Wow, we can't even f decide if it's flat or round with all the technology we have. God, people are dumb. I can't believe Caesar is really taking us to Britain. Who knows what kind of loot we'll find? Probably tons of gold and temples ready to be plundered. Do you guys even practice agriculture? Strange looking blokes, aren't they? Hope they stay away from our rock pile. <laughs> I control the Silk Road. Nobody gets spices and linen but through me. Anyway, lads, I build the big friggin' boat. We can use it to sail around this dummy. Truly disgusting experiment. Tuxi syphilis study. If you participate, you will get free medical treatment. Okay, 20 years later. I don't feel so good. Have some more medicine. 20 years later, it dies. Interesting. I don't like the faces, man. European legends. He who can pull this sword from the earth is the rightful king of Britain. Hawaiian legends. He who can move this big freaking rock will unify the islands. Did anybody move the rock? I don't know that lore. 1974, American declassified invasion plans for Canada made in the 1920s. Come on, guys. It's Canada. What are they going to do? Kill us with maple syrup? Leave them alone. I love Canada. Dual citizenship, baby. Ancient Romans. Look what I made. It's a, uh, say no more. It's obvious. We don't even have to write it down. Archaeologist today. What did they use this for? Somebody tell me. It was to measure their balls. People imagining how ancient monuments were built. Quick, slave, build me another 50 pyramids. Yes, master. How they were actually built. I built a whole village for you and the other workers to live in while you work, and it won't be taken from your payment. Thanks, my pharaoh. I don't, I don't believe that's true. I might be wrong. I haven't done that much study in Egypt history. You have no idea how angry I am right now. I'm sorry, my king. Please don't hurt me. Don't worry, I forgive you. Really? Yes, and I will give you this nice elephant. Thank you, my king! I don't get this one, but here's the context. Context, there was a king of Siam, sorry, don't know which, who'd like to give people who pissed him off white elephants, which are seen as a sacred or, or lucky, something along this line. What a great gift, you might think, and why would a king give it to someone who made him angry? Because taking care of the elephant was expensive, and only a king could afford it. It was meant to bankrupt that guy, and getting rid of it in any way would probably be seen as a sign of disrespect. And if it dies under your care, you look even worse. I'm Ty, and I may said that if the elephant died, the guy would probably get executed. I mean, great, great. Awesome. The Germans, Stalin's son. Stalin. Do you have any better hostages? And the doll. When the UK is about to land on the Falklands and the BBC broadcasts your landing plan, come on, guys. Gets plenty of exercise, drinks pure water, breathes pollution-free air, eats free-range organic diet. Died at by age of 35. I mean, I don't know, dude. Maybe it's because we have modern medicine and like they're got clothes and you know we don't be out in the elements as much after cole shaw died in battle confederates buried him in a mass grave as an insult for leading black soldiers union troops tried to recover his body but his father sent a letter saying we would not have his body removed from where it lies surrounded by his brave and devoted soldiers bury him in mass grave that'll teach them to lead black soldiers i'm proud of you son you were a fantastic man worst reason for an assassination ever an assassination 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 i can say it it was a joke that girl from the movie Tax Driver is cute. I think I'm obsessed with her. She isn't responding to my creepy letters. I need a new way to catch her attention. I'll assassinate the president, just like in the movie. That'll make her notice me. This definitely won't just horrify her and land me in an insane asylum. <laughs> uh, giving your friend a beer to help you move is a tradition over 6,000 years old. Pharaoh, build my pyramid, slave Hebrew. You are a cruel tyrant. Pharaoh, while you are unemployed between growing seasons, I'll give you a job and beer. Egyptian, frick yeah, I'm in, dude. Miyazaki was a badass. We don't think American audiences are going to understand this and the movie is too long. We would like to edit the movie to make it more family friendly. Hey, 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 come here. No cuts. No, not at all. And he made beautiful movies. But he's also kind of really mean to his employees and strict things. But also, they had a good time during the making of Prince Desmononoke. It's hard to talk about. These men were on the same front at the same time, on the same side, walked away with vastly different outlooks on World War One, and went on to write the two most prolific books ever written about war. War is hell. War is hell! I don't know the second book, to be honest. This war is living hell. If only I could be in one of those scientific expeditions far from home. Meanwhile, our ship has been prisoner for the ice for two years now and since there is a world war, nobody is going to help us. Oh god! We're stuck here forever! We're gonna die!
die and they're gonna find our bodies with photos years later after polar bears kill us. You guys should look up the Arctic balloon expedition. That one's really fun. Are you asleep? Trying to. How far do you think you would have got as a soldier on D-Day? Baby, I would have been killed in the water because I can't swim. That's a lie. I can swim. I would have just been crawling in the water and honestly, I would have been like the guy at the back would be like, yeah, go get him, boys. Yeah. I'm just gonna stay right here. Oh, they got me in the leg. Damn. I guess I gotta go see a medic. <laughs> no one. The captain of the USS Texas on D-Day. I may not have a brain, gentlemen, but I have an idea. Pirates in fiction. I'm gonna steal all your money, then eat you alive. No, you are a maniac. Pirates in reality. Regarding the epic Norman crisis we are facing, I have no other choice but to rob you. Don't worry, I won't hurt you. I'm not a savage yarg. No problem. I know there's nothing personal there. Have a good day, my friend. Is this true? I always thought pirates were just kind of cool. I always wanted to be a pirate, but then I realized the cabin boys were tied to a barrel and had things done to them and you got scurvy a lot. Nah, I'm good. History nerds will turn 14 and then their base personality are one of these. Roman. Viking. Tank. <laughs> Japan! <laughs> I know that's World War II. I really like World War II movies and tanks. Basque people visiting Iceland after 1615. A law which allows Icelandic people to legally kill any Basques on sight. I mean, interesting law, I will say that. The British, after receiving news that an island so far away from them is being occupied by a country that is closer to it. What the frick is this? I will take it, please. Libya was different back in the day. Western culture nowadays. Did you know that many Roman emperors like Septimus Severus were African, so they were black? Not sure about that, Racist. <laughs> September service 1800 years ago. Why are you black? I'm from Africa, sir. I'm from Africa too, and I haven't never seen anyone like you. This is a bad omen. Oh, racism back then. I'll take the chocolate milkshake. Hold the artillery support. Japanese military during World War II forces thousands of women into being comfort girls for troop morale. The U.S. Hey, baby, we got a Dairy Queen. Hop on board. Yeah, buddy. World's oldest complaint. You are without a doubt the worst Mesopotamian copper merchant I've ever heard of. But have you heard of me? <laughs> the complaint tablet uh, to Arithmeba is a clear tile that was sent to ancient UR written is a complaint to a merchant named Ezra Nuars from a customer named Nainini written in academic uniform. It is considered to be the oldest known written co complaint. Compliment? Complaint? Okay, yeah. American astronauts give the Dutch prime minister a moon rock. Dutch decide to get it tested and turns out to be petrified wood. American astronauts you weren't supposed to do that, dude. Ha. Help, the club is on fire and all the other eggs are blocked. You gotta let us out. I'm a member of the band. <laughs> Thank you. Boring, modern jobs, survey administrator, store greeter, taskmaster, telemarketer, epic ancient Roman jobs, dwarf seller. Bro, that can't be. Oh, I'm gonna get canceled for reading that. Orgy planner. You're in tax collector. <laughs> I like your pee pee. Armpit hair plucker. <laughs> what is the salary for an armpit hair plucker? During American Prohibition 1930, Winston Churchill brought a letter from the doctor so that he could drink alcohol. Hmm. All right then. In 1714, a Norwegian captain and an English captain had a 14 hour long ship fight. Afterwards, both ships were severely damaged, and the Norwegian captain was running out of ammo. He sent an envoy to the English ship asking if he could borrow some of their ammo. They said no. <laughs> How dare you! You ask us, sir? Of course you can have some. We're British. We're not monsters. I know he didn't get it, but it's funny. The only way to defeat her. Hey, buddy. Eyes up here. No, I don't think so. I'll keep looking at your chest. Imagine if she, like, because you know how some girls and guys have, like, hair on their nipples? Like, little tiny, tiny snakes on her boobs. So even then, you're like, <laughs> oh my gosh. If her hair is snake, do you think her, like, crotch hair is snake? So even if you, like, make it to, like, third base, and you just look down and instantly get turned to stone. I guess that would make you rock hard. Thank you. I'll be here all week. Oh, I've got a Brand new shiny helmet. We sing about our girl back home. We sing about the glory that awaits us. <laughs> Britain gay. Jesters in fiction. Please stop making fun of me. I only wish to be freed from this living nightmare. Jesters in reality. I am fed, clothed, well paid. I can insult the king without consequence. And I am in some cases among his most important advisors. Maybe that's why the Joker chilled a jester? Or wait, Harley Quinn is a jester? 